All right, childrens. So we are moving on to 3D shapes. Um, and we're going to look at volume formulas. So the first formula that you need to know is cylinder. Looking at um, some of these, you can kind of start to figure out how to find the volume of a shape if you understand how to find the area of the base. So let's look at the base of the cylinder. The base of the cylinder is a circle. So to find the area of a circle, it's radius squared times pi, or pi times radius squared. So we take the area of that circle and we multiply it by height in order to find volume. So the volume is the area of the circle, radius squared times pi, and then we multiply it by the height. Pretty simple, right? Then we look at the cone. What do you see when you look at the shape of a cone? What kind of shape is that? That shape is a triangle. So looking at that, if I'm going to find the volume of that, I'm going to take the entire volume of a cylinder. And if you think about a triangle, a triangle is like, you think of the, the number three. So it is a third of the size of a volume of a cylinder. So you are actually dividing it by three. The last volume formula that you need to understand is a sphere. A sphere is actually four thirds the size of a um, cylinder, but we're going to look at how to find the rest of it. So we have radius and we have pi, but instead of squaring the radius this time, you're actually going to cube it. So these are three formulas that you need to understand and that you need to memorize in order to um, solve the following problems. So the first question says, find the volume of a cylinder. So first of all, let's think of the volume of a cylinder. Volume of a cylinder is radius squared times pi times height. Okay, so the height, so we need to find what is the radius and what is the height. Those are the two unknowns. The height is 30 inches and the radius is four inches. So now we just plug those in to the formula. So the volume is four squared times pi times 30. So we're going to take four squared, which is 16, and then we're gonna multiply it by 30. So now I have 480 pi. This is the what's called the exact answer, 480 pi inches cubed. The reason why it's cubed is because it's a 3D object. The reason why this is called the exact answer is because pi is an irrational number, so it just keeps going and going and going. So you have to actually round down that number anytime you use pi. And you do want to use the pi button on your calculator instead of 3.14. So now we're going to multiply 480 times pi and you end up getting a number that's 1507.9644, and it just keeps going. But it's asking you to round to the nearest whole number. So that nearest whole number is in reference to the 7. So you're using this 9 after the decimal to round that up. So it becomes 1508 inches cubed. Then we need to find the volume of a cone. So volume of a cone, it's one third the size of the volume of a cylinder. So remember we need to find the radius and the height. Well we know the height is 30 and the radius is four. So isn't it true that this is pretty much the exact same thing we just did? So we can go ahead and plug it in. Volume is one third times 4 squared times pi times 30. And I'm going to go ahead and do 1 third times 480 times pi because I knew that 16 times 30 is 480. 
So 480 divided by 3 is 160 pi. But it's telling you to round to the nearest, oh, nope, it's telling us to express as an exact answer. So an exact answer is 160 pi inches cubed. And finally, find the volume of a sphere. So sphere, the volume is 4 thirds times radius cubed times pi. The reason why it's radius cubed, I know that I should have explained this before, is normally it's radius squared times pi. But if you look at a sphere, the height is also just like another measurement of the radius. So instead of radius time, radius squared times pi, we're just doing radius cubed. So looking at this, the only thing we need to figure out is what is the radius? Well, we know the radius is 3. So the volume is 4 thirds times 3 cubed times pi. So the volume is 4 thirds times 27, because we just did our cubes unit, so you should know that 3 to the third power is 27. And when you have a fraction, you multiply by the top and divide by the bottom. So 27 times 4 divided by 3. So our volume is 36 pi. So now looking at this, it says round to the nearest thousandth. So if I am going to find the approximation of 36 pi, it is 113.097335 and so on. Nearest thousandth is that third decimal place. So we have to look at the three to see, does that round that seven up to an eight? No, it doesn't. So it becomes 113.097. Seven, and this is inches cubed.